Welcome back Cryptos family. In today's video we're going to be talking about the cryptocurrency market and where I believe it's going to be going in the next couple of days. A Fuzex ICO update because the tokens are getting released on a Monday. And then the main part in this video is a cryptocurrency that I believe could potentially be the next ripple in 2018. Currently under one cent. Not a lot of people know about this cryptocurrency and I believe it could easily do a 50 to 100x before the end of the year. Some big names in the cryptocurrency space are backing this crypto also cliff high has done a write-up about this crypto which we will talk about in this video so before we go any further of course i'm not financial advisor so please always do your own research and don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always first to view content like this so the market cap today is at 469 billion dollars we've got bitcoin at 9918 dollars and we've got ethereum at 819 dollars there's quite a lot of cryptocurrencies in the green today Day. But what I'm seeing in the market today is a lot of people are moving their money from altcoins into Bitcoin and Ethereum in the anticipation that these cryptocurrencies are going to be going on a major bull run very soon. But of course, as everything happens in the cryptocurrency market we're always waiting to see what happens with bitcoin is bitcoin going over ten thousand dollars and if it does is it staying over ten thousand dollars and then maybe going towards 11 12 13 14 thousand dollars if that happens then the cryptocurrency market cap will easily go past 600 even maybe past 700 billion dollars once again i truly do believe we're going to see the trillion dollar market cap in the next few months but of course anything i say in this video take it with a pinch of salt because i'm not a financial advisor so please always do your own research so where do i see the market going in the next couple of days i reckon we could potentially go to 480 billion uh, or maybe 490 billion and then a major pullback to around the 420 maybe 450 15 billion dollar mark cap why do i believe we're going to see a pullback like this because at the moment every time we go really high i believe a lot of people are going to get scared and they're going to be like okay what's going to happen next what's going to happen next are we going to see a crash again is it going to continue to go up and when this happens fear goes into people's brains and then they start to sell 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 and then i believe that'll take us from 480 down to around 420 and then we'll see a rise again i reckon this will be a cycle that we'll see continue for the next couple of weeks and then hopefully Hopefully we will go straight on the bull run. But of course, everything is dependent on what actually happens with Bitcoin. But as you can see like right here, there's quite a lot in the green, but also quite a lot in the red because people are moving their money over to Bitcoin. This is just my personal opinion from what I'm seeing in the market today. But let's go and talk about Fusex. So Fusex have only really been keeping people updated since the ICO on their Medium page. And as you can see right here on their recent update, the tokens will be unlocked on May 7th at 9 a.m. GMT so that is in two days time and it's going to be going on the exchanges on Thursday the 10th of May at 9 a.m. GMT and they're going to be going on COS, Cobin Hood and Livecoin exchange so if you did buy Fusex from the ICO I suggest that you sign up onto these exchanges if you do want to sell your tokens so the token price was around six to seven cents and I believe it's going to hit the exchanges at around 10 to 12 cents just because of how the market is going right now that's just my personal opinion not financial advisor please always do your own research but yeah now let's talk about the cryptocurrency that I believe potentially is going to be the next ripple in 2018 it's a cryptocurrency that pretty much nobody has heard of as of yet I haven't seen too many you YouTube videos about this crypto. So now let's go and talk about the cryptocurrency that I believe could potentially be the next ripple in 2018. So the cryptocurrency I want to talk to you about today is this one right here, XFIN Network. Currently under one cent, circulating supply 3.4 billion, We've got a total supply of 15 billion. 24 hour volume is low right now, but that is because it only got listed on the exchanges on April 14th, and not a lot of people know about this cryptocurrency. I currently don't hold this cryptocurrency because yesterday it was up like 20%, so I waited for the dip, and it looks like the dip is here right now which is fantastic if you do want to buy this crypto so you can currently buy it on bank on network exchange and that is the one with the highest volume but you can also buy it on these other exchanges right here so you're probably thinking to yourself jack why are you comparing this to ripple and if so why would i buy a cryptocurrency that is for the banks well ripple is for the banks but this cryptocurrency right here is not 
for the banks. It's doing a lot of other things that Ripple aren't currently doing. Also, it's got smart contracts, and Ripple currently does not have smart contracts implemented. They are getting it implemented very soon, but that's an uh, advantage that Xfin Network does have over Ripple. So let's go over to their website and learn a bit more about this cryptocurrency. So what is Xfin? So Xfin is a hybrid blockchain technology company focused on international trade and finance. So if you don't know what hybrid blockchain is compared to maybe a public or private blockchain, basically it's a public and private blockchain all together into one. So it makes it a lot easier for everything pretty much. So it's quicker, it's smoother, transaction fees are lower because it's the best of both worlds. So their blockchain that they have created is powered by the XDC01 protocol, which is built over the first of its kind. So it's like the first of its kind technology that they have created, which is fantastic because it's like first to market. So what is their blockchain actually going to do? It's going to eliminate the problems in the global trade and financing area, market, whatever you want to call it, to enable real-time settlements as well as enabling cross-border smart contracts. So they're doing some big things in this area and in the market that they are going towards. Currently in this market, Ripple is kind of the big dog and it's kind of the only player that is doing this within this space. So Xfin is getting into a space where there's a lot of room to move. Also, it supports smart contract layers, KYC layers, and price stability using the hedge pool for existing cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, BCH, which is Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, LTC, and Ripple XRP. So, this is all done on their tradefinex.org platform, which we will be talking about in a minute. They've already got working platforms and working products that you can use today, which is always key when investing into a cryptocurrency. The XDC protocol also supports fiat payments. So it's not just cryptocurrency, it's cryptocurrency and fiat. So this opens it up to pretty much everyone all around the world and they are going to be supporting upcoming nationality issued cryptocurrencies. So the XDC ecosystem, so it kind of goes like this, so you've got payments, cryptocurrencies and fiats, not just their cryptocurrencies, you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, then they're going to have their compliance with their KYC, secure and compliant, basically KYC know your customer, so they basically know who's going on to their platform, it's going to be super secure because it's the best of both worlds, private and public blockchain. DAPs, so smart contracts and hedge pool, and a hybrid blockchain with private sub networks. Also, I didn't mention this before, but they are going to be having a master nodes. Master nodes are key to cryptocurrencies going up in value and key to like the blockchain and the network actually staying stable because the master nodes, the ones that are running the master nodes are helping the blockchain and the network and they basically are the ones that are running the blockchain and network. And as you see right here, customer peer to peer. So I was telling you that they've already got working products in place. So they've already got their marketplace platform. So their marketplace platform offers a credible global platform where global Global buyers, suppliers, and financiers can connect with each other for transparent and peer to peer trades, payments, financing activities. All of that is going to be done in one place on one platform. And the platform is known as tradefinex.org, which is this one right here. It's currently only in beta, but as more people come onto this platform, as time goes by, the beta is going to go from beta to the full platform. And already, as you can see right here on the beta, you can browse projects, you can submit projects, you can get started, you can contact them. You can do pretty much a lot of things on their beta already. And the main thing that they are going towards is low cost financing. So all this stuff right now in the uh, outside the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, it costs a lot of money for you to do. But Ripple, as we've already seen, they're making it cheaper also with quick transactions with lower fees and ifin is basically doing the same thing so their core object is to build a global financial system where they are bridging the gap by offering the lowest cost that they can for the financing and they're doing this with their xdc token so they've got two tokens so they've got the xdc token that's basically the one that is going to be used on their platform 
And they've also got an ERC20 version of this token, which you can exchange one for one. Basically, the ERC20 version of the token is for the liquidity, and that is the one that you do see on Coin Market Cap, where you can buy off Bank on Network, Cars, IDEX. So if you do want to exchange that one for one, you can find that all on their website. So who would actually use this blockchain and this platform? There's so many people that can actually use it. So you can banks can use this platform, but as you see with Ripple right now, they've got most of the partnerships with the bank. So I don't think that this platform will be going towards the banks trying to get them on board. You've got universities, got citizens and communities. We've got governments that can use them. We've got businesses that can use this platform. There's so many use cases for this platform. And if they're using the token, then the token can easily go up in value, as we've seen with the Ripple token that is out there right now. They've also got real world applications that they are currently developing in Seoul travel aviation fintech sectors as you can see right here several in-house pilot projects in development so this again is fantastic the more projects that they make that are out there the more people that are going to want to buy the tokens to either use the products or buy the products meaning supply and demand means your token can easily go up in value Next, we're going to see what Cliff I said about this cryptocurrency project. We're going to have a look at their roadmap, and then I'm going to give you my final analysis on where I believe this project is going in 2018. But before that, if you do want to, you can pause the video right now and have a look at this comparison chart between XFIN, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and these other cryptocurrency projects. So this block time is on demand, but the transaction per second is currently 300 transactions per second. But they have said they can upscale that to the same as Visa, and Visa currently do 24,000 transactions per second so that would be fantastic if they do upscale that now let's quickly go and have a look at what cliff high said about this cryptocurrency project so basically if you read this right here he's saying that xfin are getting into a space where there's only a few cryptocurrencies and he believes that this cryptocurrency because of the technology that they've got and the people that are on board that they can really rise in 2018 which is fantastic because this is a guy that you uses uh, cryptocurrency like computers to predict how cryptos are going to perform in uh, the coming years or in the coming months and basically this is a real good endorsement for xfin getting somebody like cliff high to uh, run the computers on their project and have something as positive as this being said about their project if you do want to pause this again and read more about this do that or go onto their website you can read up about this but as you can see right here at the end it says uh, markets for very explosive growth in 2018 which is fantastic and then here is the roadmap so these two right here are the ones that I'm looking at so the third quarter they're gonna get the transaction volume enhancement and then by the end of this year they are gonna be setting up multiple masternodes all around the world masternodes basically they're the ones that run and help the network and the blockchain and when people see that they can actually use their tokens and actually um, use their tokens to set up mass nodes then that is going to be another major price boost to the tokens because we've seen what mass node tokens have done in the past and they have just shot up in price so there is a downside to this cryptocurrency they haven't got as many partnerships as i would like for investing into the cryptocurrency at the moment i can only find these three partnerships that they have got on board hopefully they are going to be getting more partnerships going forward into the future but at the moment they aren't that well known so it's probably that's one of the reasons why they haven't got that many partnerships on the board once they get more publicity and once they show more what they can do with the blockchain and platform i'm positive that more people will come on board and then quickly i don't think we had a look at the team so as you can see right here roger ver is a one of the advisors either you love him or you hate him but he has got a lot of knowledge in the cryptocurrency space so that's another good thing that they've got him on their advisory team he can really help them going forward into the future and then this is the team it's a really experienced team and a lot of really experienced advisors and then finally i just want to show you this right here they are going to one of the biggest cryptocurrency conventions uh, summits whatever you want to call it in new york in may 14th to the 16th so again they're going to get a lot more publicity from this uh, from this event which is going to be good for the project going forward so like i said currently at 
under one sense. This is just my personal opinion on this project. Always do your own research. I believe it's going to go far in 2018. But of course, another project might come after it that might, that might be better. So always keep an eye on the cryptocurrency market. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a great day.